Originally, I didn't really have much interest in photography. I was mainly a climber and just wanted to get outdoors and have fun and play. I've been really fortunate with my work to travel all over the world and see so many things I never would have imagined. I'm Justin Bastian, I'm an adventure photographer. I couldn't imagine doing this if you didn't love it. The athletes, the other filmmakers, all the people I work with, they really love what they do and I, I really enjoy being around people like that. And so this opportunity to work with Kimmy is great for me. She is such an amazing athlete. And I really, really want to make a great picture with her. I'm used to shooting with surf housing. Dealing with Kimmy, I didn't know how deep we were going to go. I mean, she can dive to 150 feet. So I brought a dive housing. I figured it was safer to have that than trying to go down and have my housing blow up on me. I remember this spot from years ago when I flew over it in a plane. And when the assignment came up for Kimmy, I thought this would be a great location. I found this guy who was convinced he knew where it was. He ended up drawing this map for me. And since I only have a few days, it adds a lot of pressure. So you end up using intuition to get you to a lot of places to make things work out. But it's, it's, uh, it's difficult, man. I have a short amount of time to get things done. And I knew if I could find this formation, I could make some amazing images with Kimmy. On the scout flight, I found something that looks like it's it, but it's a really long paddle. And I think we just gotta go for it. Hey, you must be Justin. Nice to meet you. Are you excited for the trip? I am. All right. You want to give me a hand with this? Yeah. Let's get out of here. I could swim before I could walk. It was always my place of comfort. Growing up in the islands definitely gave me that love, but I also think it's something that runs in my blood and is something that's probably more spiritual than even I can describe. When we started paddling down the coast, I, I had heard about how beautiful this place was, but man, once I saw it with my own eyes, it was like mile after mile, just surprise, 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 the most beautiful caves, waterfalls. I mean, stuff that just doesn't even look real. It looks like some kind of dreamland. If you're going to someplace this incredible, you better come back with a magical photograph. The moment I saw his work, I think what drew me to it is that it's more than just an image. It tells a story. It's not just a pretty picture I'm looking at. It has true soul in it. It makes me feel something. When I get ready to take a drop, it's very important that every single part of my body is absolutely relaxed. I am just trying to go with the flow. I'm trying to relax into this drop. I'm trying to do everything I can to slow my heart rate. And as I do this, I'm also having to think about the shot, having to think about where Justin is. And I just try and maneuver through the water as gracefully and peacefully as I can. And then if I can feel the light hitting me, that's where I'll stop and take some time, hoping that that's working for Justin. But in reality, I really don't know what he's seeing. From a technical perspective, this shoot was pretty challenging. I had one bottle of air. I have one water housing that can't fail. I mean, I was down to kind of a bare bones setup <laughs> and a very limited amount of time. When someone sees this image, they're not gonna know that I spent days searching for this place, was stressed out, had all these challenging elements to deal with, and really a chance that it couldn't have happened.
There's some moments in life where it just feels like all the stars lined up and that's what today felt like. I mean, the water was beautiful, the location was perfect, and Justin and I were completely in sync. There's not a whole lot more you can ask for. Working with someone like Kimmy, it's, it's not difficult to make a good picture of her. It's more about finding a good location and, and going through the process of, of getting there and, and just doing it. There's always these risks with doing these types of trips, but it's also part of the fun. <laughs>